hi guys you are welcome to my channel today we'll be looking at how we can trade uh boom and crash index on the lower time frames okay we'll be starting with boom 1000 index and i'll be looking at what has happened on the weekly time frame before uh, drilling down to the lower time frames okay we have boom 1000 on the weekly time frame and we have this bottom here we have another bottom another one and another one, another one. but for now uh, what we are seeing is the fact that uh, boom 1000 on the weekly time frame is uh, spiking upwards and the possible target is uh, the 10446 level we might see price spiking uh, to this level uh, before the end of the week or in the next couple of weeks okay that's that for the weekly time frame boom 1000 on the daily time frame we have price of uh, moving in an ascending you know look at this ascending trend line price is testing the trend line and bouncing upwards so price kind of uh, bullish for now we have this low around here we have another we have a high we have a higher low then a higher high and price is hedging towards the higher high point and that is around the 10198 level so uh, the overall trend for now is bullish. You might want to play some buy orders for boom 1000 in here. Look at this current candle or four hour candle. Uh, this shows that price is moving up. And we might be seeing 10199 uh, level before the end of today. Uh, look at the length of the candlesticks compared to what we have on the left side. Shows that the buyers are fully in the market and the buyers are gonna take price to the top level very soon so you might want to play some buy trades uh to buy a uh, boom 1000 index look at the day at the one hour candle we have this triple bottom or this inverted head and shoulder on the one hour time frame look at this the left shoulder uh this is the head and this is the right shoulder on the one hour time frame and you can see price breaking the neckline somewhere around here uh, we have a break, a retest, and then price, boom, spiking upwards. Uh, we might see a bit of retracement around here uh, before price goes to the top. All right, so that's that for the one-hour time frame. It's very bullish. Uh, you might consider uh, buying, boom, 1,000 index for now. Uh, look at what we have on the 30 minutes time frame. Still bullish. Uh, same with the 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minutes time frame. Uh, we can see price is respecting the ascending trend line and price is gradually moving up okay on the five minutes time frame it's quite bullish and on the one minute time frame it's ranging for now uh we might see a spike uh, to the top uh anytime from now uh let's take a look at crash 1000 index on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see that uh the the price of uh crash 1000 index is kind of ranging and we have this long shadow on the weekly time frame suggesting that price might start to uh, form a top uh, but that, that could take some weeks could take some days uh, for the top formation to be formed hells price might go up let's take a look at the daily time frame on the daily time frame uh the price of crash 1000 index is currently ranging Okay, with ranging and the overall outlook is uh, bullish. But for now, look at today's candlestick. It's like a doji. Today is not ended yet. Uh, but price has tested this ascending trend line and might be going up. All right, for the four hour time frame, you can see that price has given us like a flag, a bullish flag formation. Uh, we have a bullish flag formation. And we might see the flag break out to the top any moment from now. Uh, but for now, price is ranging. On the one hour time frame, price of uh, crash 1000 index is currently ranging. Uh, we might see a range break anytime from now. Okay, on the 30 minutes time frame, the price is still ranging. Uh, here is the range top on the 30 minutes. This is our range top. Okay, and here is the range bottom. So we might want to wait for price to break out of range before uh, we take a decision but for now it's ranging on the 15 minutes time frame what do we have our uh, price has been dropping we have a retracement to this level 
and the price is attempting to drop uh, we might see price breaking up to the top on the five minutes time frame we have a flag we have a bullish flag and uh, with the bullish flag we might be seeing what might look like a flag break up for price to continue to go up all right so you might consider a uh, buying crash what one thousand index look at we have a range on the one minute time frame and price at at the range top it's almost at the range top the break above this top i'm talking about the break above this level you might consider buying crash one thousand index for boom 500 index on the daily time frame uh, i can see something like um uh, a flag on the boom 500 on the weekly time frame i can see a bullish flag pattern uh, but we need to wait for the flag breakout before we take a decision on the daily time frame we can see that price is gradually ranging uh downwards okay we have this top around here uh we have another top around here and then we are looking at what is like another top around here on the daily time frame so price might be dropping to the range bottom okay uh, before we have another spike upwards okay but that's what we have on the daily time frame but this might turn to be a tree drive pattern where price might possibly drop lower but that's that for the daily time frame on the four hour time frame what we can see is a double top and price is currently reacting to the double top okay on the four hour time frame this is the first top uh this is the left top and this is the right top and price is reacting to this uh, we have a break of the neckline of the double top and you know with a retest price is dropping so you might consider selling uh, boom 500 index on the four hour time frame on the one hour time frame boom 500 index is currently selling and it's respecting this uh descending trend line on uh, the 30 minutes time frame is it's selling it's dropping same with the 15 minutes time frame price is dropping the five minutes time frame continues to form a low a lower high lower low lower high lower low so that's uh, typical of a bearish trend all right that's that four boom 500 index four crash 500 index on the weekly time frame we can see that the price is forming like a triple bottom and we might see price going up okay that's for the weekly time frame on the daily time frame we can see the formation of a double top this is the first top and this is the second top for crash 500 index on the daily time frame what we are looking at right now is the formation of an evening star pattern candlestick pattern and with an evening star candlestick pattern we might see retracement to the downside but for now today's candlestick is not completed yet we might see the candle uh start to go up for the top to be broken but that's that for the day for the daily time frame it's currently bearish on the four hour time frame we have this top we have another top and another top more like a triple top on the four hour time frame uh this is the left uh top there's the middle top let's take this as the middle top and let's take this as the top on the right all right so we have the break of the neckline around here price currently at the neckline uh, a break below this okay and the retest okay can give us the clue that price might drop if price is going to drop we have this other block at this point that could serve as the immediate demand area for price if price gets to the demand area price might pick some support and possibly go up but that's that for the four hour time frame let's take a look at the one one hour time frame on the one hour time frame uh what we can see is uh we have a top around here on the one hour time frame we have another top around here this is another top on the one hour time frame and yet another top which is quite lower on the one hour time frame and price is uh at the bottom of the range okay but in as much as we continue to have lower tops, that indicates price might be going down. All right. But if price is going to go up, we have this other block at this top that might serve as resistance to price. Uh, price might find supply around there and start to go down. 
All right, that's that 41 hour time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, it's quite bearish. Uh, price of uh, our crash 500 index is bearish on the 30 minute time frame, though we are in a range. Uh, but we can see lower highs being formed on the screen. Uh, we have a high, a low, lower, lower high, lower low. That is typical of a bearish pattern. On the five minute time frame, you can see the trend is bearish. So you might consider selling crash 500 index as it continues to spike uh, lower. On the one minute time frame, it's spiking downwards. Look at, we have price parking downwards so a break of this structure around here uh, might send price further down so for today you try and look at how you can stop sell crash 500 index as it spikes downwards that's that for today's video if you like what you just saw go ahead and smash the like button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for go ahead and click the subscribe button drop questions Below the video, we'll try as much as possible to respond to your questions. You can drop comments. Uh, you can also uh, go to our website, uh, www.bnfxtrader.com to learn more now to uh, trade uh, boom and crash in there. You can also go to another website of us, fxfables.com to learn more now to trade boom and crash index. Uh, till I come your way tomorrow, it's bye for now.